Do they still care? Do they still have feelings for you? Are they missing you? How are they feeling? Do they still have feelings for you? Do they still care? We're going to split the deck into four, four elements, four seasons, most importantly for angels, offering us a circle of protection. So we can give and receive all of these messages with an open heart, open mind. Down this side is you. Do they still care? Down this side is them. And down the middle is the connecting energy. Welcome back to Hope to Have a Daily. My name's Angie. Private readings are available from my website. My diary always has spaces in, although there's spaces for next week now. Uh, this week's sold out. I do private readings Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, so, do they still care? Yeah, but they're so childish, aren't they? <laughs> they're so childish. Do they still care? Very much. They won't admit it. Of course they won't admit it. Um, they miss you they really miss you and it was their immature behaviour you kind of put a wedge between things in a recent past you've had the knight of wands it feels like it's been a long term thing and it feels like you've recently been picking up their energy with the knight of wands there I'm like have you been dreaming about them have you been thinking about them randomly? Is this someone who you don't normally think about, but recently you've been really wondering how they're doing and all of the things? They've recently had the sun. And then in the middle of you both has been this nine of cups, which is a bit of a superficial energy. But what it means is they've been keeping you out, but you've been thinking about them and they've been, their energy has been invading you, like, bugging you it's almost like they're tapping you on the shoulder um not physically but you know it's that nagging reoccurring thought thinking why am I thinking of this I haven't thought about them for ages and it almost feels like you, you feel like I don't even care about them anymore so why why am I suddenly caring it's like yeah they've had the sun recently they're on the path to something and they're glowing and it doesn't feel to do with romance. It feels to do with life in general. And it feels like they've got some really good times ahead of them. And they think about you and I think they would love to tell you about it. They would love to, because I think you'd be genuinely really happy for them. Because you know where they've come from. And you know what they've been through. And you know how hard they've worked. So for them to turn the corner and things to be going well for them. That's really good. And that's probably why you've been picking up their energy a lot. Because your energy is still connected. Even if we haven't seen someone for 30 years, if we had a connection, that connection's still there. It's just a tiny little fine string, that's all. But it feels like they've got this high vibration and they're, and you've been picking it up. Um, and it feels good. And it feels like you want them to do well and stuff but we've got the seven of wands for you you don't want to let them back in again it's almost like maybe you've come to the reading to try and figure out why have I randomly been talk thinking about this person why have I been randomly mentioning their name I don't want to be with them I don't want to be in a relationship with them I don't want them to come back I you know you both have your own separate lives now but why have I been thinking about them it's because life's got good for them Maybe they've finally grown up a bit. I wouldn't say massively. I think they've still got that cheekiness and and stuff. But they've got the six of wands reversed. They've got better times ahead of them, absolutely. But we've got the emperor reversed. You're defensive about you don't want to let them in because they put you through quite a lot. Yeah, it's great that life's going great for them now and it's great that they've turned their life around. But there's still those scars of they put you through so much through them just not wanting to take accountability for anything. Um, and it, it feels like, it's, you know what, the way that you feel that you want them to do well in life, they feel that about you as well. It's a mutual thing. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they've been thinking about you quite a lot as well wondering how you are, how life's treating you, wondering stuff. But you don't want to let them in. You're just like, no, I don't want to let them in. 
which is fair enough. You don't have to let someone in. But it is okay to like people that we used to love go, I hope they're all right. That's why that's what social media is for, isn't it? To have a little look. Are they doing okay? Are they still alive? Yes, they are. They're doing fine. Great. I loved them once. I don't love them anymore. That kind of thing. Um, I guess Tarot Reader now gives us that as well. We have the death card reversed for you, which is like you suddenly not thinking about them anymore or you come into a point of okay well I got my answers then I'm okay they're okay that makes sense I don't need to take this any further I don't need to reach out to them I don't have to worry about them reaching out to me I'm just going to leave this here how it is there doesn't have to be a transformation there doesn't have to be a change to how life is you've got your life they've got their life the bond, that little bit of bond is still there. That little bit of something still there. That everything, but the the scars of of everything that happened massively still there as well. Then moving on to the three of pentacles, making plans for the future and working towards them. And then we've got the hangman reversed in the middle of you both, which is just this being stuck in limbo with them. But I think every now and again. You'll randomly think about each other. I mean, why wouldn't you? You know, you had some really good times together. You really meant a lot to each other at some point. So why wouldn't you occasionally hope that they're okay? And so why wouldn't they? You know, people don't just forget about people. You know, they, they that energy is still there. That link is still there. Wouldn't be surprised if they've been checking you out on social media. So if there's anything that you want them to see, post it. You know, if there's a certain photo where you're looking great, post it. If there's, you know, an award that you've won recently, post it. Put it on public. Make sure they they have the opportunity to see it if they when they check out your social media. So I'm going to leave this reading here. Do they still care about you? Yeah. I've got a feeling they've got... I don't think they've got to that point yet, but there will be a point in their life where they suddenly realise how badly they treated you and they will regret it. Um, but I, they want you to be doing well. They're doing okay. They're doing good. They're doing good. They've turned their life around, that's for sure. There's still a little bit of bond there between you both, and you both feel it. That's not going anywhere. You know, every now and again you'll think about them, and that's okay. So I'm going to wrap you in a massive bubble of protection so your angels take you on your way. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Um, I feel a bit tired today, but um, it's because Rosie, my cat, she's a pretty lot, little tuxedo cat last night. We had a little bit of a drama. <laughs> well, we didn't have any drama at all. But normally if I'm in bed and she's cuddled up to me, I have to move her so that I can get out of bed. And uh, normally I, I pull her a bit, I pull the duvet a little bit and she gets up or she looks at me or she watches me try and struggle, get out of bed or she'll hop off the bed. And last night I pulled the duvet a little bit and she just rolled into a log. And um, and then I pulled it again, hoping that, you know, she might look at me and move. And she didn't, she just like twisted a bit. And um, then I was looking thinking, is she breathing? And then I poked her and absolutely nothing. And this cat doesn't ignore anyone for anything. So then I'm like, oh my goodness, some, something really bad has happened. And then so I started freaking out a bit. And then she just gave me the filthiest look. I'm like, oh my goodness. So she got kicked out of my room last night because that really traumatised me. Because I really thought there was something terribly wrong. No, she was just fed up with my nonsense. So I didn't get much sleep last night because that really played on my mind all night. Today she's perfectly fine. She's just having battles with a cat in a garden and she's not happy. But that's the first time she's ever deliberately ignored me, not moved, not acknowledged me, just been floppy, just totally ignored me. I don't know why we have pets. I really don't. I love her so much. She doesn't appreciate it. Not today. She's so moody. So, yeah, let me know if your animals that you have living in your house have cute little characteristics or diva kinds of energy. I love reading about, you know, other people's pets because it makes my, my life feel a little bit more normal. I'll see you soon.